Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ariviews back with another video and today we're taking a look at the new beta of iOS 17.2. 17.2 is turning out to be quite a great update with a bunch of new features and changes coming to iOS pretty soon. So let's go ahead and take a look at this update and all the cool new features and everything else you need to know regarding iOS 17.2. First of all, the build number for this update, it will be 21C5040G, which means that ending with a G, we will get probably another three maybe even four betas before we see the public release of iOS 17.2. And the size of the update, if you come from iOS 17.2 beta 1, it will be around 700 megabytes, of course, always different on different devices. So right here you can see 748 here on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And now let's move on to the new features and changes of iOS 17.2 beta 2. First of all, we're heading to the settings app. Now on the settings app of your iOS 17.2 beta 2 device, you will find a new section here for your coverage. When you go to settings general, previously you had to go to the about section and then you would get the coverage, but now you will have the coverage here. And of course, right here we'll find all your devices and of course the coverage for all of them. We also have a new setting here for the camera app for the iPhone 15 Pro models. Now if we find the camera here and we go to formats, you can see that now we can enable spatial video for Apple Vision Pro. So you will get a button here that allows you to shoot these videos. Of course they can only be played on the Apple Vision Pro and you will get an explanation here about everything you need to know regarding this type of video. Of course, on the camera app, you will get the settings as well. When you go to the video, you can see here we'll have the button for special video. And basically, once you turn it on, it will say that you need to rotate your iPhone to the landscape mode in order to shoot this video. And when you start recording, you also get that button right there, which indicates that this is a spatial video. But of course, you cannot play it on your iPhone. You can play it, but it will just play like a normal video. Apple has also made a couple of changes to Siri on iOS 17.2. You can now ask Siri for your ETA when you're using Apple Maps to go to your destination. You can ask Siri for your ETA. You can now also ask Siri for your altitude and it will tell you your altitude as long as you have location services turned on on your device. And of course you have allowed Siri to have access to your location. Next up, we have a really interesting change on the App Store. So when you go to the App Store and you go to the Apps section, right here, this page has been the same for years now, and it's kind of annoying trying to browse between different categories of apps. But now you will find the categories right there at the top, and this is super useful. A very, very welcome change for the App Store. So you tap on Utilities right there, it will go to the Utilities section. And of course, then you have here all the like top lists and all that stuff. But of course, you will have productivity right there, you will have photos, you will have social, music, business, entertainment, everything you can think of, all kinds of like different categories of apps, which you can now easily browse from here. Tap on navigation, you get all the navigation apps, like a really welcome change here for the app store. Now, you can see right here, if we go to the game section, we also have that for games now, so you will have action adventure, you will have AR games, board games, and all that stuff. So everything is here, all the different categories you will need actually for your iPhone and of course for the App Store to easier and faster browse the App Store and find the games and the apps that you actually want. We also have a smaller change here for the TV app. So we have a new updated icon for TV Plus right there. Apple TV Plus now has a new icon. Moving on under settings again and here under privacy and security, we have sensitive content warning. Now this will actually work if you enable it. This will work now with other things as well. It will work with things like stickers on iMessage and also it will work for the contact posters on iOS 17. So whether you're receiving a call or a contact, it will now be able to actually scan it for sensitive content. Now here we have a couple of other changes that we haven't been able to talk about before. These have actually been added to the first beta of iOS 17.2. And first of all is this right here. This is the new default home screen layout 
on iOS 17.2, which now comes with the journal app pre-installed on your iPhone and you will have it on the default layout here on your home screen. Another one right here is the catch up arrow for the messages app. So when you're on the group chat and you need to catch up to something, you will now have that arrow right there, which of course will take you right to the place where you have to catch up with all the different messages. Moving on and talking about performance, iOS 17.2 is great on performance. And of course, beta two is as good as beta one. And you can see the score here, which is amazing on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. We have a single core score here on Geekbench 6 of 2,956, while the multi-core score is a 7,357, which again is a great score. And even using this software on daily basis, you won't even notice that it's actually a beta. It really works as it should. It's really flawless. It works really smooth. No like big like bugs or glitches or stuff like that. It actually just works as it should. Besides the new iOS 17.2 beta 2, Apple has also released a new update for the AirPod Pros. It's 6B32. This is the new like number for this update and it just fixes bugs and adds improvements to the software. No new features on ch or changes. And if you have other devices, other Apple AirPods, don't try to update because the this update is only for the AirPods Pro 2. So you get this update with just fixes and also different improvements. Now, before we talk about the release dates, let's talk about whether you should update or not to iOS 17.2 beta. Well, if you have iOS 17.2 beta one already on your device, you make sure that you immediately update to iOS 17.2 beta two. Of course, you're getting better performance, probably a bit better battery life, and of course, the new features. If you have iOS 17.1 or 17.1.1 on your device, well, I would suggest that you wait maybe for the RC version or just the public release, of course, if you just don't care about the new features. But if you do, you can install it. It's not that big of a deal. And of course, we also have a public beta available and it's quite good it actually is quite stable so if you're just curious and you want to try it out there's no problem on installing iOS 17.2 on your device right now so what's next regarding iOS 17.2 now I would expect Apple to actually move on to a weekly schedule from now on because we, we have to get this update before the holiday season and we most likely will get it right here on the 11th or 12th before of course the holiday season starts and then we will have to wait for 2024 for other updates. But of course, since Apple should remove on weekly schedule with iOS 17.2 beta, I would expect right here at the beginning of the next week to see beta three, most likely on the 14th or 15th. Then of course, another beta here, another here. So we are probably three betas away from the RC version, which should be the first week of December. And then the second week of December, of course, we most likely will get, will get iOS 17.2 getting released to the public. Again, it's an amazing update, add some really useful features like the one for the app store, which we haven't seen like any improvements to the app store in the past few years. So that's really, really amazing. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. Of course, subscribe for more iOS 17.2 videos, and I'll see you on the next one.